Time now for a conversation that we call confronting hate. The white power rally in Virginia shocked everyone, and it raises the question, what do we do now about hate in America? Well, this week we're talking to community leaders and we're getting answers. Tonight, we talked to Danny Bakewell. He's a local civil rights leader, a publisher of the LA Sentinel, and a huge figure in the business and economic community. Danny, I want to welcome you to the set here. Thanks, Pat. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, sir, let's just throw the question out there. What is going on? Well, a lot of hate going on. I think what's happening here in Los Angeles, we have had a general attitude that we've sort of immune from it. There are like more hate groups in California than anywhere else in the country. There are mm -hmm. 900 plus in California. As there's almost 70 in Los Angeles alone. This guy, Wayne Spindler, who went down to City Hall, had placards with KKK oh. sheets. Yes, we and talked confronted about that. Herb Wesson. We asked the, the district attorney to prosecute him. No one found justification to prosecute him under the guise that it was free speech. Well, free speech is one thing, but hate speech is quite a different thing. Hate speech is something different. We wanna, because hate speech breeds violence. It, it promotes violence. When we were confronting this guy, Wayne Spindler, you know, people were saying, well, you know, it, he's got some rights. He's, he doesn't have any rights to, to intimidate people. When people are intimidated by hate, they can't sleep. They can't think. I mean, it, it has far-reaching ramifications, and we need to understand that. And we need to understand right now, people who are listening, the kind of impact that it has, particularly from my perspective, on young black children. Now, it has, it has ramifications on all children, but when you see a Ku Klux Klan, it paralyzes people. Do you find in Los Angeles, Danny, that there are more people willing to come together to confront violence and racism? You have to mobilize people of goodwill. This has got to be a collective experience for, for all of us to confront hate to confront inequity, to confront people putting others down. I think we can step up to it. Thank you Always so much. Always a pleasure. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Danny.